Assalamualaikum. So we're going to present our project, Power Transmissional of Rotational Ball Miling. So a transmission system provides controlled application of power. Usually the term of high speed transmission asks the gearbox that uses gears and gears train to supply speed and torque conversion from a rotating power source to a different device. The most common use in automobiles where the transmission adapts the output of the internal combustion engine to the driving force wheels. Transmission reduces the upper engine speed to the slower wheel speeds that increasing torque within process. And a ball mill is a device used in grinding and mixing materials such as ores, um, chemicals and other materials. Bombers are widely used in production lines for power powders such as mining, agriculture, industry, cement and silicate. And hence a ball mill has a cylindrical vessel installed at both ends to allow the rotation of, of the vessels around the center axis. The ball mill is di driven by a girth gear which is bolted to the shell of the vessels and a pinion, pinion shaft moved by a prime mover. And moving on to automatic transmission, so an automatic transmission is a multi-speed transmission um, used in motor vehicles that does not require any driver input to change gears under normal driving conditions. So the most common type of automatic transmission is the hydraulic automatic which uses a planetary gear set, hydraulic controls, and a torque converter. Other types of automatic transmission include continuously variable transmission, CVT, automated manual transmission, AMT, and dual clutch transmission, DCT. An electronic automatic transmission may also be called an electronic uh, controlled transmission, ECT, or electronic automatic transmission. Hi and Assalamualaikum, my name is Adli Hakimi bin Shahirul, AD190082. So first, we will go through our problem statement. As an engineer in company A, our team are assigned for the installation of rotational ball milling with an outer diameter of 2000mm as shown in figure 1. The team needs to design and select a proper transmission system to be installed at the equipment. The output torque required at mill cylindrical body is 1000 newton meter, while the mill's rotational output need to be running at 50 rpm. Next, we will look at our literature review. Ball milling. A ball mill is a type of grinder that is used to green or blend materials for applications such as mineral dressing, paints, pyrotechnics, ceramics, and selective laser sintering. So for our transmission system, we chose automatic transmission system which uses planetary gear as shown in slide. So this transmission takes power from the motor and delivers it to the gear to help power your machine. So it is responsible for making sure the right amount of power goes to the gear so it can operate at a given speed. This is the list of equipment that will be added into our design. First one, spur gear. Spur gears are a type of cylindrical gear with shafts that are parallel and coplanar and teeth that are straight and oriented parallel to the shafts. And then we have pulley. A pulley is a wheel on an axle or shaft that is designed to support movement and change of direction of a cable or belt or transfer of power between the shaft and the cable itself. Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Afzal Faris, and I will about present uh, about calculations. So this is the design that we have uh, designed for the system. So this is the pulley system. This is the motor. This is the pinion, and this is the planetary gear at the ball milling drum. So this is uh, we use the spur gear method, and this is the pulley method. So, the given parameters based on the problem, uh, output top required at mill, uh, which is the out, is a stone 1000 Nm. Next, speed of mill, 
and out is 50 RPM. The third one is outer diameter of main. The out is 2000 mm which is 2 meters. And then the reduction ratio and the motor has to be calculated. So the reduction ratio, uh, the input of motor as in the input of input speed of motor and in which is rectifiers of the three phase supply with four poles motor. So n is 60 times with f over p which is n is synchronous speed, f is frequency, p is pair of pole per phase. So then uh, n equals equals to 60 times with 50 over 2 and we got on n equals to 1500 rpm so for an induction motor with 4 poles a nominal speed is at uh, 1500 rpm but we run to we run near to 1455 rpm so the mean speed is p equals to pi and d over 60 then we got it after the calculation we got 5.236 meter per second so the reduction ratio is n in over n out so then we got the reduction ratio is 29.1 next for the motor power the power first we calculate the power required for the ball mean to rotate so we use p if pm equals to 2 pi n p so after we Calculate, we got to 5.236 kilowatt. So here we, we use the pulley. So the power that transmitted of the pulley from the motor, which is we got we use the formula sine alpha equals to R1 minus R2 over X, which is the R1 is the driven diameter and R2 is the driver diameter. So we got alpha equals to 1.5. 433 degree then we calculate in to get the radian uh, ra radian unit we use the formula uh, 180 minus 2 alpha times with pi over 180 then we got 3.092 radian next with the maximum allowable tension p1 equals to 300 meter and the coefficient of friction of the contact surface between belt and pulley is 0 0.3 the value of p2 can be calculated p2 we use we use the formula t2 equals to t1 over exponent to the power of mu theta then we got the t2 is 118.65 newton newton meter And Newton. Lastly, the power from the motor that transmitted is Pm equals to T1 minus T2 times V, which is V, we use the formula uh, WR. So, after we uh, calculated, we get the power motor that transmit is 6.91 kilowatt. Thank you. Alright, so let me to let me introduce myself. My name is Mama Iman bin Mami Sohan. So I would like to share with you the analysis for this project. Alright, the transmission system analysis. Okay, the the mechanism mechanism that transmit the power developed by the engines to another output in machine. All the requirements are fulfilled in the main unit of the transmission system, such as such as gray box that generally use gearbox to serve the speed and also the torque, which has a propeller shaft and you know sturgeon. Okay, so the important type of gear drive is to move the speed became smooth and while it's required my nearest space rather than belt drive. Alright, so let me move to the motor power analyze. In the general, 50 Hz and 60 Hz are the most commonly used in the international power system. Alright, this motor generates 50, cy 50 cy cycle per second which is a provided 1500 rpm for the speed and also if the low frequency applied high cost methane will in the electrically equipment material that's why 5k motor are appropriate 
Alright, so for the reduction and ratio analyze. Okay, the objective of choosing the planetary gear is the great choice is to solve in this project. The fact that planetary gearbox was mainly used in the industry while with applying the ratio of gear reduction from 3.48 until 2687 based on the stage and efficiency up to f and is the efficiency up to 70%. Right. Although it is this complicated when it comes to maintenance for the design, but it's still worth it's, it is still worth for the high efficiency in the machine to achieve the objective for this project. Alright, so for the discussion is in the type of transmission main part will be given to the gear drive because there is a no limit space for these sections yet belt will still cannot thing to the shaft between the drive driver and driven. For the temperature and also the working yard humidity is still be in the average. Next, more cost for the installation using by applying 5 kW motor for this build, for this ball mill machine. Also, the low maintenance are low and technology will be used because it does not not require a production in a big scale. For the maintenance, using a technician and experienced worker to solve it. Alright, so that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and hi. Today I will present about calculation. Based on the result of the power transmission design, the power output transmit by bed met all the specification required for flow milling machine. By assume that there is only a significant small losses and bad slip in the system. The input power from the motor should be almost equal to the output power. One other factor to be considered is the cost of the bed system. The Weber drive lead are relative cost effective during installer installation and have a low maintenance cost. Beside that, uh, Weber type was selected because it can transfer power at small distance.